All right, so I want to finish the daf. Um, I'm pretty sure I know where we're up to. Uh, we are. Excuse me. We were up to. We're we're talking about <laughs> the trees. Um, and pruning a tree, or the eighth way, Akum Shiva Akum Lutzarkai, Vishpira Mutaran Lutzarkai, Yasura. We said this already. To the pagan who cut off pieces of idol for his own needs, both the idol then is bottle and the pieces that are taken off are also mutter and if it's to make the idol nicer or you know, pruning something the the idol is prohibited the chips are mutter uh, the idol is, is usher and the chips are mutter and the if a Jew does it for any reason it's it's usher might have you should say it's like a like a, a, an idol that broke on its own. So also we say, like Rava said, that that it's a, um, that the Jew owns it, and then it's not kosher. So again, in that situation, so he said, how should you get rid of an idol? He said, you could grind it up, scatter it in the wind, in the sea, or you could make it into fertilizer. <laughs> but you're not allowed to have any benefit from the cherim in Deuteronomy 8, 13, 18. Nothing from the banned prophet, the contraband. So my, how, how can you make a fertilizer? It's heavy. So we should say it's like a idol that broke accidentally. Also, even Rav says the same thing. So this, uh, let's go weiter. Um, Eisve. So, Rabbi Yechanan said to Rish Lakish, Rabbi Yosef ben Yasyan Oimer, Rabbi Yosef ben Yasyan said that, um, that it uh, wants its first drakain. But what if you found a dragon, uh, a tsur of a dragon? So, Varisha Chasach, the head was cut off. Safik Akam Chasache, Safik Yisrael Chasache. You don't know if the pagan cut it off or the Jew cut it off. So mutter, then you you can have benefit. Vadi is also. But if you're sure that the Jew cut it off, then it's prohibited. Um, my, why is that? Tevi ka'akum shnishtabim lay. Maybe it should be like an accidentally broken idol. Chanamik to Rav also. It's like Rav said. Maybe the Jew made a kenyan on it. So I'm going to talk yeshivish. It's going to go faster. Eisve, I'm just too tired to. Eisvei, you know, so it's another uh, issue about this. Uh, he said, "Rabbi Yosi Omer Afli Rakus Ben Moshe Gushamim Nesha Hanavaya Nesher Salein." He said, "You can't plant vegetables in the winter underneath the shade of an Asher tree because the foliage falls on and fertilizes it." So, my Tevi Ka'akum Shin Shabrim Alea. So shouldn't it be like what we said before about the that it could be like it's mulch, it's like fertilizer. What's wrong with it? Um, it's heavy So why don't we say it's like an idol that's broken? You can't say it's like rava because the Jew doesn't touch it; it goes on its own. Shiny hasam deikar akum kiyamis. So he said that it's, uh, it's different here because the the tree itself is still there. So that's the <laughs> issue. 
So now we're on Ahmed Bay's. You know, even if the leaves and branches fall off, so you still have the tree. Svashipuyan. So we're about when you shave off from an idol, pieces or you pruning it, whatever, that the pieces are are are, are mutter. A tree that no normal thing for a tree to grow. You know, is it loses leaves and branches. <laughs> so that, you can't say is a bottle. When you're actively shaving off pieces or pruning or something, that's uh, then then the pieces that are taken off, are, they lose their status of a desara. Um, so now Rish Lokish is arguing with Rabbi Yechanan back. Cain... What if you have a nest on top of a temple treasury tree? Heck, this tree. You're not allowed to take to have hana from it, but if you do, it's not me'ila. It's not uh, it's not a uh, trespass. It's not um, sacrilege. So, um, if there's a bird's nest on top of a, stick, a tree, you can knock it down with a stick. But wait, maybe we're worried that the branches from the shera, from the idolatrous tree, the bird used to make the nest, and that's a problem. How can you knock it down with a stick? It's only the twigs don't come from the shearer. The twigs, we know that the twigs come from something else. You can see it's obviously a different type of tree, something like that. You know, daika, nami, similar, diuk that you can make. Konigabi hektish, you say hektish, something from the base of Mikdash. That, uh, you, that you don't have benefit from it, but it's also not sacrilege if you use it. Yeah, Same thing. The birds didn't bring the twigs from the hectish. The bird brought the twigs from something else. So, you don't benefit from it, but it's not sacrilege. That you don't take benefit from it. It's a rabbinical decree. But the, the rice, it's not me'ila either. It's not, from a biblical standpoint, it's not um, a sacrilege. The holy kadisha, because the twigs are not holy, they're not consecrated. Aliyamrat, Shavrat, Saman of Kinsavan, Ha Kadisha. But what if the bird broke off the twigs and, and, and made the nest from Hektish? So uh, then it is, should be a problem. Media area, is this a proof? It's a no. You made it hectish and then it grew more after you made it hectish. So the town of this Mishnah holds that there's no me'ila on even the tree is hectish, the branches that grow after you declared it hectish is not me'ila. So why would you want to knock down the Rabbah and why would you want to knock down a, a, a nest? Because you want to get the baby birds? So Ryankov said to Rabbi Yermi Bar Tachlifa, I'm going to explain if, if it's baby birds, so the any the 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 baby birds, whether in the hectic or in a share, they're they're gonna be kosher. But the eggs, whether it's in the hectic or whether it's in a share, they're gonna they're not they, you can't touch them. Ravashi if Frechen Shrikan Lima the Kabasim Domal Ravashi said little baby birds that need their mother to feed them and they're not independent, they can't walk around anything. Are just like eggs. You, you also can't have benefit from them. Okay, so we have a, a new Mishnah. Uh, 
Moitzi Kalim, and once they grow older, then it's kosher. Moitzi Kalim, Lam Suris, Chaman Suris, Levon Suris, Drakain, Yelichim Liam Amalach. The Mishnah says if you find vessels and they have on them a, a picture of the sun, a picture of the moon, or a picture of a dragon, and the, you know, and it's it's, it's a, a, a a sculpture. Um, so you should throw them in the Dead Sea.